Hello children. Today we will discuss about birds. It is very important topic for your science Olympiad. Now let's start discussion. So first let's see the body parts of birds. You can see a bird has different different body parts. Eye, beak, neck, body, claws, wings, feather, tail, head. So it has different different types of body parts and you have to remember all these body parts and they are function also, they are role also. So first let's discuss about feathers. So when it comes to feathers, feathers helps birds in flying in maintaining their body temperature. Okay, uh, you should know this uh, function of feathers. At the same time, uh, feathers are of three types. What are the three types? Flight feathers, tail feathers, and third is down feathers. These are the three types of feathers. First, let's come to flight feather. So, these are strong, stiff, and long feathers found on birds' wings and tails. And they help birds in flying. Okay, children, they help birds in flying. Then, when it comes to tail feathers, uh, these are used for steering and guiding the flight. Uh, tail feather is found on tail parts. Okay? Then down feathers. These are small fluffy feathers found on the down side of birds. These feathers maintain the temperature of birds body and keep them warm. Uh, you can see the pictures of down feather here. Then let's discuss about they are feet. So, my dear children, birds' feet are different from birds to birds. Okay, each bird they are having different different type of feet. Uh, feet of birds depend upon their place of living or preying. Okay, so now let's come to webbed feet. Uh, you can see uh, there is a picture webbed feet. Here you can see the picture. So dog geese, swans and other birds which live near water have webbed feet which help them to swim. At the same time another type of feet is perch, okay, a perching birds. They are having different type of feet. So perching birds have small feet with three toes in front and one toe pointing backward. This helps them in clinging to branches example sparrows and pigeons. Uh, so this type of bird you can see is one sparrow is there and you can see uh, its uh, feet. This is perching feet. Okay children? Then let's come to uh, feeds of uh, praying birds. Okay? So birds or prey have strong feet claws with sharp talons. Sharp talons help them in catching and killing their prey. So see, this is the feats of praying birds. They have claws. You can see these claws. Okay? Claws they are having. Then now let's come to their beaks. Birds have no teeth. You know. Birds don't have teeth. But they have beak. So birds have beak in place of teeth. Shape and size of the beak depend upon the kind of food the bird eats. So their beak shape and size, it depends on their food. What type of food they are eating, in that way their beak has been shaped. So let's come to different different types of beaks. First, let's discuss about hooked beak. So birds of prey like kites, eagles, owls and falcons have strong, sharp, hooked beaks. They use beaks to tear flesh of their prey. So, my dear children, you can see the picture. Okay? So, this type of beak, uh, you can see this eagle beak, uh, how it is hooked. Okay? It is hooked. And this type of beaks help them in tearing the flesh of their prey. Then, next is probing beaks. So, some birds have probing beaks which they use for probing or finding insects out of mud and soil. Okay? 
so these are long and slender uh, you can see a probing beak okay this is a probing beak this type of beak is called probing beak then there is another type of beak that is flat broad beak okay so dogs and swans have flat broad beaks it helps bird to catch insect fishes and plants from the water at the end of the beak are two holes known as strainer so my dear children uh, this type of beak is also called strainer beak and it has two holes you can see the one hole is visible and in other side of the beak there is another hole okay and this type of holes is found in dog swans okay then let's come to sigel shaped this sigel shaped beak it is found in wood picker to and it helps the wood picker in cutting holes in trees okay you can see this is the beak of wood picker then kingfisher it has long pointed beak to catch fish kingfisher okay then grain eating birds like sparrow as pigeon they have strong cone shaped beak to grinding and breaking seeds and grain so this is cone shape you can see another is long tubular straw like beak and it humming birds they are having long tubular straw like beak to suck the nectar from the flower okay children now let's come to our another topic and this is okay some nest now we'll discuss about nest of birds so my dear children a bird nest is the spot in which a bird lays and incubates its eggs and raises its young ones okay children so you can see and uh, this is the bird of a tailor bird okay this is the nest of a tailor bird so a tailor bird stitches lead to make its nest okay children at the same time uh, you can see this is a weaver bird so a weaver bird eat um, web so many things thread okay grass and many things and web a net but one interesting thing a cuckoo never makes it nest okay it lays it eggs in crow's nest you should know a cuckoo never makes it nest so what does it lays it eggs it lays it eggs in crow's nest it okay children now uh, so this is the end of this topic bye